Spice Tree Apartments versus Haley Salisbury. He's here. And also Gavin. Is it Wesleyan? Wesley? Well, it's Hello. Lisa. Hi, how are you doing? Uh, okay. Oh, they're in they're in like eight different screens. Okay. Yeah. That's that's good on my eyes for this time of day. All right. Where are we on this case? Uh, Your Honor, this was adjourned one week. Uh, Ms. Salisbury indicated uh, that, I think Mr. Wellesley as well, that they were trying to seek uh, legal counsel. Total due at present with court costs, $4,735.32. All right, folks, where are you on this? Um, I guess I'll go first, Your Honor. Um, thank you for the opportunity to speak today. I want to start out by explaining that I requested the adjournment to retain an attorney, but I wasn't able to secure one within the week. We were calling attorneys that specialize with lease evictions, but nobody had the time to help. Um, I would like to state that me and Haley have not been together since April due to relationship issues. And that's one of the reasons why my mom is involved. She's on the screen with her. Um, she's done most of the talking between Haley and I. She's also communicated with Spice Tree Apartments. I lost my uh, father in a tragic way on August 12th, so I haven't had the best headspace to do this on my own, and that's another reason why she's here. Um, but to get things started, I guess for me, um, I'd already moved into an uh, employee house free of rent and utilities in Ann Arbor on March 22nd. Before Haley moved in to her apartment on April 14th, she asked if I could help her by signing some documents on her behalf. When I, acquired, when I inquired about what my involvement would be since I wasn't going to be living there at this time, she wrote me a text explaining that the manager had told her, saying that I wasn't going to be held responsible for anything. It was all just a workaround to help her get into the apartment. Um, with everything Haley has been through, I decided to sign the lease info because I did not want her to be homeless and her staying at the employee house obviously wasn't an option. Um, I never filled out an application with my info. All I got was an email of an e-signature file of the lease. And this made me believe what Haley said was to be true. So I signed the lease, not knowing I was signing to be a resident. Okay. All right. And what do you folks, Haley, what do you want to tell me? Um, I also have a thing I can read. Um, so your honor, thank you for the opportunity to speak today. I would like to explain my situation and how it led us here. I was approved for the lease based on a com combination of my, um, survivor. survivor benefits and Gavin's income. I was not in Ann Arbor yet because I was waiting to start a job here. I didn't start the job yet. Um, he clarified on the phone that he wasn't going to move in at the time, but they still put him on. Um, uh, yeah. Um, and do. Mm -hmm. I would explain this part right here. And then the rent hasn't been paid because I don't have the survivor's benefits mm -hmm. anymore. They canceled it in June. Um, and then I was in, I was in the- Han Hanley, hold on, stop for a moment. What kind of survivor's benefits did you have? I don't know exactly. It was just like S-S-S-E-R. Did you lose a parent? Uh, yeah, both of them. And your siblings. You lost both parents. Okay. And, 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 and in, sorry, and in June- right. And in June, did you turn 21? No, 20. Or no, April, I turned 20. April, you turned 20. Okay. Yeah, I thought it was until I was 21, but I guess it's not. So that's why we're in this hole. <laughs> All right. Um, Go ahead, ma'am. You want to tell me something? I really do, Your Honor. Um, I want to let her finish, but I also know she's very prideful. And uh, this isn't a dispute, to be clear, about 
Gavin and Haley like against each other. Um, but if I could read my portion, because I think you really do need to understand something incredibly crucial to the context of this. And then also uh, some procedural errors that I have personally been involved with since June 19th that I think you want to be aware of. Um, so I'm Andrea, I'm Gavin's mother. I've been helping Haley and Gavin navigate the situation. And I do want to clarify from the start, like Gavin did, that they're not dating and they haven't been in a relationship since April. I took on this role as a mentor and advocate to support Haley the past two years. I will um, get into that. And I know she feels uncomfortable at this, but even I'm frustrated and not sure how much more I have in my tank to help. And this young lady needs some help and guidance in this. Uh, two years ago, not only did she lose both her parents, um, she also lost her three baby siblings because her stepdad murdered everyone. It was a quadruple homicide. And I am mentioning this to you because though she was technically 18, and this is why I'm in her court because this is all trickling down to today, and I'm not trying to just do the sympathy piece, but I need someone to understand this girl hasn't been guided because she was 18. She unfortunately, you know, didn't have the assistance of anything else, but she was in that home and instantly became homeless because her home was a crime scene. And I didn't even know she was without a home already for nine months at that point. Her and my son had been dating on and off. And once I discovered that, that's when I stepped in because she has literally no mother, no father. All of her siblings are gone except for her two younger surviving siblings. And... Um, and this has been a lot. Now I'm going to cry because she never cries. So I know she owes the rent. She knows she owes the rent. We're not disputing that. But in addition to that, I want you to know that's why my son helped in the way he did in signing this. And he truly, from what I'll show you in the evidence, if you need, he did not know he was signing a lease. He simply thought, because he's very naive, and he also should probably tell you he is not a reader. And... um he thought he was helping her out truly. Uh, and they split up in April. So, and he lived in an employee house and that just further reiterates that there were some procedural errors and that the apartment complex did not do their due diligence in ensuring that Gavin was not a resident. He never sat there. He never met with them. And I, my request is not that they're, the money is owed, but my request is after you hear all of this, that had happened, that um, not only that both Haley and Gavin's names are removed from the lease and that, let me tell you the rest, I'm so, thank you for being patient by the way, um, that um, because of these personal losses and what my son didn't tell you is the way he just lost his dad just six weeks ago was incredibly tragic. Um, and so he's also got that currently going on and she hasn't even begun to be able to process this grief because for two years we've been working to get her some housing. We're in her apartment with no furniture at this moment. She's had nothing here uh, this whole time. And we've been waiting for assistance by waiting for a court summons so she could get on her feet because she did have a job lined up. But now we're this far behind because nothing was served because they didn't. until yeah. the dates I have. I have a timeline laid out for you, by the way. If you do want it, we have it on Zoom. It has a lot of dates that I have all receipts of all my emails with them, never getting a return email, never getting any answers on the phone. Not only that, they withheld information from Gavin on September 3rd when James called my son back because that's also the day they filed this court summons and no one ever told my son that. And then... Um, the very last thing I want to say is that our request is not to not have the amount owed, although I do wish we had some way to work around some of this, um, but to have them both removed from the lease because it's clearly it's demonstrated and they just had, she had just moved in. He's never been in here that um, she's not, this young lady's not going to be able to pay. And I don't want this affecting her for the rest of her life when she's already so upside down and has had no guidance other than myself with this. Um, and that's the facts. And unfortunately, without burdening you with my problems, my life turned upside down and I am in absolutely no position to help like I otherwise would. And if that was the case, neither of them would be here today if I could help, but I can't. And so I'm hoping that sums everything up because I kind of went off script. And then uh, if you want anything else, we have a lot of information for you. But I wanted you to know with the context with her because she's not going to share that with you on her own. All right. Okay. Um, okay, Haley. Mm -hmm. 
you're you're right now is that your apartment at spice tree right now that i'm looking yeah. at behind you yeah okay so Haley, let me ask you this <laughs> As, as I sort of synthesize this whole thing, where do you, are you going to be able to move someplace or you just don't have anywhere to go? Um, All right, so young lady, young lady, let me tell you something, okay? Because um, I heard Gavin's mom um, say, you, you have a lot of pride. Right? Okay. Is that right? Sure. Okay, so listen, here's what you gotta do. I'm just I'm just sort of a plain talking guy. Okay. Um mm -hmm. and so sometimes to try to work some of these things out, um, you gotta kind of set set aside your pride. Okay. Um sometimes in you know, sometimes things don't work out, but sometimes things do work out, but they can only work out if there are people in a position, maybe that can help, can't do everything, but you got to kind of know what's going on with you. Okay. So if it's going to be a circumstance where you're going to be homeless, you got to tell me that. Um, not maybe for a minute. <laughs> what do you mean by that? Okay, honey. Okay. Bailey, talk to me. All right. Well, I just. Uh, <laughs> I would rather just not have to keep going through with this. Like the okay. rent. Okay. So right. I can find somewhere. Okay, like, now hold. I have to do it all on my own. So. All right. Okay. So Haley, love. Gavin, how old are you, buddy? I'm 21. All right. Now, certainly, Haley, not through the circumstances. Probably not through the circumstances of either one of you. Um, that you guys have been through. Um, let me just tell you, you're talking to somebody who um, losing parents is hard, right? We know it's going to happen. At least if things happen in the orderly way, that's going to happen. But um, we still, we never expect it, okay? So just... I usually don't share things about myself, but so that you can understand that at least to a certain extent, I can kind of understand the uncertainty of where you guys are. Mm -hmm. All right. Understand mm -hmm. I lost my dad when I was 16. So I can particularly appreciate Gavin when you say you're not in a good headspace. I get it. Yeah. Okay. And, you know, Haley, I, I <laughs> Yeah, I can't even, I, I can't, I can't even wrap my head around that, okay? But the one thing I can tell you both, um, life doesn't end. You find a way to make it through. Um, Haley, for you, sometimes when I'm telling you to set aside your pride, sometimes you got to set aside your pride. Sometimes you're just not that strong and it's okay. Okay. Because somewhere out there, while the world doesn't seem like it's a great place, sometimes I, I believe in the goodness of people. And so sometimes when you let that down and people can see it and you just sort of lay it bare, um, I got to believe, and I just do believe that there are people around that kind of help you out. Okay. And you just can't, you know, Haley, you don't have any reason to have any faith in humanity. You just don't. And I'm not going to try to tell you that you do. 
all right? But slowly but surely, maybe you'll begin to see it, okay? It'll come back at some point, okay? But more importantly, you got to give yourself space and time to heal and time to move on. And there's no recipe for it. And you're going to come across a lot of these bumps. And what I don't want you, it's one thing to give up on an apartment. It's a whole other thing to just give up on life. And the latter of that, I don't want to see. Okay. So Haley, if you don't have the apartment, where do you think you're going to go? You got a place? Um, I have a place that I can go to, yeah. Okay, for how long? Um, for a few months until I can get it figured out. You know okay. what, Your Honor, if I may, um... I only want yes. to say, I think she would share more with you. And I don't know if you have the, if you're able to do this or not. I know because her and Gavin haven't been dating since August or April, I'm sorry, um, that she would probably share more with you if she wasn't in this situation. And I'm not asking you to make accommodations, but I do feel like that's where the hesitation's from. I don't know if he can be removed so she could share you more during this or not. Well, let's, let me do this. Okay. Okay. Let me, let me do this. Um, Haley, just really bottom line is between you and Gavin, you don't have the money to pay for this apartment, right? Mm -mm. You have the potential ability to, um, go someplace. Okay. So here's what I'm going to do, Haley. Um, I'm going to, Mr. Dornbush, I'm going to adjourn this out to October 4th, 2024 over plaintiff's objection. What time? 12 p.m. At 12 p.m. Okay. Sir, can I um, say one thing though? I'm sorry. Go ahead. My uh, dad's service is on the 5th, and they live down by Flint, and I was planning on being there for the 4th and the 5th. So I okay. don't know. We could reschedule well, one day. Well, I'm going to leave it to the 4th, because I think things have to get resolved for the plaintiff, okay? Yeah. So I'm going to leave it that date. If you're not here, I I certainly understand that, and we'll work around that some way, but... You're not in the apartment in any event, so mm -hmm. yeah, that may not be an issue. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. Ms. Dornbush, I'm going to ask you a favor of you, um, if you don't mind. Uh, if, um, if I ask Haley to wait till the end of the proceeding, do you mind if I have a private communication with her? and Gavin's mom regarding the circumstances in this case, I would never, of course, do anything detrimental to your client in that conversation, but just trying to figure out what we can do with this so some folks can land softly. You're muted. Sorry, Judge, I was verifying those other payments. Um, and I'm... Not entirely what to, what I'm sure what to say because obviously the news the information um, yeah that's been shared here today is frankly devastating so um, at the same time I do have job to do and I have to advocate for my client and I know the court recognizes that um, I would say that if during that discussion information comes to light that would otherwise affect my client's legal rights, that that information needs to be shared with me. Um, because Absolutely. I do, I do, I do have an ethical duty to my client, but at the same time, I understand 
the circumstances and, and frankly, you know, what Ms. Salisbury has been dealing with, I have, I have, I have no way to, to understand that. But I, I know that um, there's information that the court would like to hear that she would like to share. And um, I understand the need to do that privately. So, um, you know, if, if something comes up that is going to affect my client's legal rights, I have to request that that information be shared with me, whether it's in a written statement or if it's something that the court discloses. Um, and and, and Ms. Dornbush, Ms. Dornbush, I would give you my word that if that were the case, and I would also apprise her that I would have to share that with you so there wouldn't be any surprise on anybody's part. But I, I have a feeling there's something. Yeah. So, so if you don't mind, I, I think I will do that. And um, let's see where we can go and try to get this resolved, hopefully next week um, with this. But I, I think there's something that has to happen in the interim. Okay. So I'll adjourn it out a week. Haley, wait on the line. You're going to, you and uh, Gavin's mom are going to go into a private breakout with me as soon as I get finished with these few cases that I got here. Okay. Yes. Thank you, Your Honor. All right.